everybody, this is Beach Cricket, and um, today I am just going to be talking a little bit. <laughs> I have already walked the girls, uh, they're over there in the bed, if you can see them, <laughs> they're kind of covered up. Anyway, they had a nice walk, and when I was um, walking around, I noticed that there were a few more um, different rigs out here from last night. I'm at Clear Creek Reservoir um, at McHood Park in um, Winslow, Arizona. Um, this makes my third time being here. I love it here. It's really fun. Um, it's beautiful. If you've seen some of the other videos that I've done, um, you'll see, you'll understand why. Uh, it's just really pretty. It's still um, 80s, 90s. Sometimes it gets a little warm, but there's water out here so you can swim. So that makes it nice. Um, there is always a nice breeze out here too, so it's been great. But uh, one of the things that I... Uh, noticed this morning you know new campers in the area and i walked up to this one because it's a van and there's two ladies from switzerland they had bought an already customized older uh van and i'll show you the picture of it just shortly um but they are traveling um one of the girls um lod it's like melody but without the m um, she said that she always wanted to come to Arizona, so that's why they're here right now. They're going to go to uh, Central America, and um, that's with the other uh, young lady named Sophie. Um, she is wanting to go that way, so they're on an adventure and a quest together, and they're young. They're like in their 20s, so they were kind of shy about I said, yeah, let me do a van tour, but they were kind of shy, so I didn't want to push it but I can let you see what the rig is, you know, from over here. I don't want to pose on them. All right, hang on. Okay, now what I wanted to show you is, I've done a different kind of setup on my tarp. Um, the winds out here on the reservoir, Creek, Clear Creek, can't even talk this morning, Clear Creek Reservoir um, are usually pretty strong um, about midday so what I've decided to do I wanted to show you this new idea I had it's, whoa sunshine let me go over this way all right okay if you can see the eye hook I have drilled and put eye hooks along top so that I can fasten the tarp. And right now I just put uh, little zip ties on there, but I'm gonna put carabiners. Um, it'll be easy to click off and click on. But I've got four different eye hooks along the top of Shuttle Babe so that I can just clip this tarp when I want to and take it off easy as well. So, yeah. I don't know why that's coming in kind of fuzzy, but anyway, that's what that is. Just simple little eye hooks on the top of the side of Shadow Babe so that I can put my tarp here. And the wind is so strong, I've bungeed on my grill here and alongside here to a table and then also to the ground. Woo! See me? Hi! <laughs> oh, there's some ants. Let's go around here. Yeah, I've done this there and all the way down here. Way in there so that my tarp can have a nice shady secure spot and then when the wind blows it's like moving it and it holds I have one pole right there that seems to stabilize it pretty good but other than that that's how I had to do it because it's kind of crazy right now <laughs> when the wind gets stirred up so but it's giving me lots of shade under here so that I can just sit here in the gravity chairs, 
I have my pet cage outside so that the girls, because they have to be secured out here. So they're either go in the cage or they're tethered so that we can just sit here and drink some coffee, have some lunch, dinner, whatever. Just have a beautiful view to look at. So it's really nice. Now, as promised, just kind of give you a little swoop around over here. That's where Larry is up there, the camp host. That's his rig up there. So, and our young ladies are over here. Jack's over there. And our ladies are right there. So, it's very nice. Awesome. And last night, Last night, our friends Katie and Brett got here. That was on Katie's birthday. Happy birthday, Katie! We're going to have a celebration probably this weekend because they're tired from all the things that they've been doing and traveling over here. So we'll probably do that. So it'll be nice. And Jack is over there. He's been my camping buddy for a few days. Just the two of us, so it's been very nice. So it's a, a beautiful place here, really gorgeous. I love all the greenery. I just love everything about this place, except for the flies. <laughs> the flies are a little treacherous right now. And um, anybody have any really good natural remedies? I've, I've Googled and I've watched a few videos about flies and I'm trying a few of them out, but if anybody knows of a good remedy, um, message me here and let me know what works for you. I don't want to do anything poisonous because I have the pets and of course I don't want to toxify myself either. So, but yeah, let me know about that. Alrighty, Shuttle Babe is looking good. I like our little setup. It's really cozy under here so it doesn't feel bad sitting here relaxing under this tarp. It looks kind of crazy, the different configurations, how I got it done, but uh, when I was putting this up, it was actually very windy, and I know some people were probably thinking, that girl is wackadoodle. She's a little crazy trying to put that little tarp up here on a windy day, but hey, it worked. Ingenuity and preservation <laughs> i do want to be burning up and perseverance too we'll add that one in there so anyway this is uh where i'm gonna make me some breakfast and um, i'll be talking to you guys later okay. that's where the girls are they're going bye So yeah, Switzerland girls taking on America. Isn't that cool? It's awesome. I love that. I love to see the adventuresome side of people enjoying their lives and doing what they want to do. And it's just so nice to see ladies out there doing it. It's awesome. All right. Good luck. Y'all have safe travels. Hey. Okie dokie, we are, what you're looking at is going to be my breakfast. I cut up some red potatoes, some onions, and some garlic, and so that's going to be yummy. Love it. And while I've got all this sizzling over here, I am, I've got my uh, hood up, and a lot of the uh, people, the nomadic people, they put their, hid, their hoods up on their vehicles. Um, I don't know if it really helps or not, but it deters, for some reason, the mice and rodents and things like that. Um, so, I'm going to also get in here and check all my fluids and make sure everything's cool. I'm also going to get under there and make sure that there are no wires or anything being chewed. I did have some remnants of uh, 
some type of invasion. It, uh, of all strange things, it was, uh, it was my little creamers for my coffee. Um, so I was like, whoa. And I've pulled everything out in the entire rig and have checked. There's no droppings whatsoever either. So I'm a little dumbfounded on that. And um, we'll figure out what that's all about. <laughs> Going to take the, uh, the different dog house uh, connections apart and look under there in my air, air filter. Um, in the past, I've had dog food in my air filter. So, yeah. I'm going to check that. All righty. Wild breakfast is cooking. Oh, let me go inside here. I need to get some water for some tea. Also, this is lemon juice and clove oil. And you cut the top off, put the top inside, and it's supposed to deter the flies. They don't like that, so we're, we're testing that one out. Okay, all right, let's, uh, let's get some water here. Yep, fill up the tea. Okay, so we got the teapot filled, so we're going outside with it. down the stove and let's have tea with our hash browns yummy okay I'm trying to figure out what kind of tea I want I've got all kinds like uh, this one is peaches and passion fruit this one's pomegranate and cherry whoa that one's blueberry and then over here I have two. I have the green tea and ginger. And I've got chamomile. This one's really good too. The toasted coconut almond bark. Ooh, yummy. Yep. I think I'm going to go with that one. Alright. Let's grab a... Where is my cup? Oh, there it is. Like my Sedona cup? Pretty cool, huh? Let's go get some tea. It's supposed to, uh, it's supposed to do something as far as the uh, flies. They don't like that either. Hmm. Well, I could cut one up, chop it up, and throw it all over me, but I'd smell garlicky. <laughs> I don't know about that idea. We'll figure something else out. Um, that fifth wheel that's just going by there. It has on the back of its rig, wherever, follow my journey, wherever the winds blow, dot com. So, hey, check that out. It might be interesting. What a beautiful day. Sure am loving this camp. Just perfect. Hash browns are done. Whoa, yummy. I'm probably going to sprinkle a little garlic salt, some uh, little pepper steak seasoning, and some pepper on that because it's kind of my favorite thing. Kettles, yep, there we go. Hot tea's about to happen. There we go. I think it's time for breakfast. Okay, so I've got breakfast all made up. We have some hash browns, crispy like I like them, and we're going to eat a couple of little baby oranges and have some of that coconut wonderful tea. And I'm trying these out. These are organic. And there's a chipotle pepper hot sauce, and then another organic, and this one is the jalapeno um, hot sauce. 
So I'm going to try those with my hash browns and enjoy my beautiful breakfast right here at the water's edge in this chair. How nice. And then after that, I'll let you out because then I'll be finished with the, the video, Rocks Rocks. Your sister's in there in the bed sleeping. Would you like some hash browns? Don't forget to give me those fly, killing fly, whatever, whatever way you do it, so that I don't have to put up with this. Oh, please, I just do not like these pesky flies. Help with your antidotes, your natural ones. Send them in the links. Thank you. Okay, and this makes it for a nice, comfortable time out here where I can just have a little breeze while I'm eating my breakfast. This Ryobi fan is fantastic. It has uh, a battery and it also can uh, plug in. You take that battery off, there's a little area where you can plug in to shore power or your inverter or whatever. And it's high and low, but I like it because it's portable and I can really enjoy having a nice breeze and blow the little flies that are trying to get on my legs. No, stay off. We don't like that. <laughs> so yeah, get you one of these. It's, I highly recommend it. It's like $40, I believe, at, uh, I think it was Lowe's. Lose or Home Depot, one of them. Anyway, there you go. Mmm. This is really, really delicious. Ooh, my face is all shiny. And the reason why it is, is I put coconut oil on my face. It, I use it as a moisturizer. Tip! Mmm. <laughs> These are wonderful. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thumbs up on that. Mm. So, people, excuse me for chewing and talking. Um. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just wanted to change it up and do something a little different. And um, so, I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, wake up and live, have adventures, it's your life, enjoy it, and um, just get out there. All right, peace cricket out, we'll see you guys in the next video, and make sure that you put a big thumbs up, ring that bell so you get more um, different videos from me, and um, I really appreciate all of you. You uh, brighten my day. There are so many of you that consistently watch my videos, and you guys uh, put so many wonderful getaway flies, <laughs> wonderful comments uh, to me, and I love love them. They they keep me laughing and smiling every day. So I appreciate your um, your kindness. All right, beach grid out. Bye.